So let's talk about Lara. So Lara has more spacious areas. The roads are much more wider, as you can see. Uh, there's uh, very few masjids. So the masjids are within every, uh, you could say 10 minutes, there's another masjid. So like, as you can see in this surrounding area, it's very wide, very open, spaced. The roads are much wider. The buildings are a bit taller. And the good thing, I guess, is the spaciousness, you know, and you are slightly more closer to the airport. Um, and of course, the more you go that way, the more you are closer to the airport. It has a feeling of, uh, how would you say, um, poshness. So the people that live here are now very, very high class, very posh, very expensive. You could say this is a minimum 50% 50 more expensive than the city centre. Um, the disadvantage, I would say, uh, another one, apart from the posh people and the uptight people, uh, is that there is uh, no space to hide from the sun. If you're going for a walk, like look, in the boiling heat, you won't have much shade. You understand? And things are a bit further uh, far away. Like look, if you just look at this area, for example, uh, it's very difficult. You have to walk quite a distance to get to a shop. To get to a butcher, I have to go in a different direction. To go to another place, I have to go to a different direction. So that makes it a bit annoying. Like for example, in my area, every every two minutes walk, you'll get everything. You'll get the butcher, you'll get the haircutting guy, you'll get the uh, supermarkets, you'll get everything. But in these kind of areas, look, that woman has to walk so much from her area to get to the uh, shop that she needs to get to. And in the boiling heat, trust me, the time, the effort, the heat, I don't like it. So that's one of the reasons I prefer the city centre. Some people like these spacious areas because they look all nice and fancy. But the people that live here are also not very nice, in my opinion. Again, that's just my opinion, I could be wrong. But, you know, and they have, but they do have nice complexes. But to be honest, I would probably prefer living rather than pay one and a half times more in this area than the city centre. I would rather pay 75% of what I pay in the city centre and go to Kepes. Because Kepes will be more local and uh, it'll be more cheap, as I said, 75, it'll be 25% cheaper than, than the city centre. And it'll be uh, half the price of Lara and the people will be much more nicer and local. Some places are a bit run down, so you have to be careful in Kepes. So yeah, that I understand. So my, whenever I look at a property, I always base it upon the masjid. So I say, I look for the mosque, yeah? I look for the mosque and then I say, okay, well, what are the properties overlooking the mosque? That's the kind of life you want. If you want to do hijrah, the most important thing is, I want a mosque, you know? And that's what's most important in your life. And this little area, for example, comes with a park. You know, you've got the park area around it. Now again, the problem with these park areas, we don't know what the future plans are sometimes. So this is why you need an agent who, who knows about these things. You know, our, the one who works for us, the, our main, my partner, he knows, he does all the research before he sells you an apartment. And that's why he'll tell you what's going to happen here. Now, let's say you bought that property. Allah forbid. They say, you know what, we're going to build here four apartments. Yeah, buildings. Now that means for the next two years, you're going to have building work in front of your apartment. Yes, you bought an apartment, that's nice, but you're going to have a lot of pollution, a lot of noise uh, for the next two years. You've got to think about these things. You know? People don't think about these things. They say, why I'm here to give you that assistance. You know? uh, so, Lara in general, you know, uh, I personally am not a big fan of it. But as I said, different stroke for different folks. And uh, this is similar to, you could say, Konyalti as well. Konyalti has this kind of theme going on. Um, but Konyalti was built up way before Lara was, and that's why uh, Konyalti is a bit more, uh, you could say, smaller areas. Everything's a bit more squashed up. Here by Lara, uh, there wasn't much going on here. It was like farmland. And because of this reason, it's more spacious. You know, like, look at this, crazy. You won't find this in the city center. So that's an advantage, you know, you've got spaciousness. But in the heat, in the, which is majority of the time in Antalya, you need shade. And you don't get much shade, unfortunately. So you have to be careful. But again, I'm exaggerating certain things. Um, so each to their own. Uh, I just wanted to give you a feel of Lara today. And as you can see, most of the compounds, the swimming pool is empty majority of the year. Only about six months, they fill it up. And that's when you can jump in it. But even then, how much are you going to use it? You know, I would rather go to a... Uh, a, uh, pay for a private swimming pool or a hotel swimming pool which is much more bigger, larger, grander uh, in a better setting and then you know just use it whenever I need it but some people of course they want their own swimming pool and the other problem is sharing I've made that video already about the horrors of a complex to explain to you that in case you have bad neighbours you're going to see them way too much while in the case of me in the city centre I don't have nothing except for I'll see them in the when uh, we walk past coming in and out of the building which is very rare but if, you're, if you've got a complex with them then that's the issue with the complex
Anyway, that's my two cents. Assalamu alaikum. Anyone interested in buying property or investment, rental, short term, long term, uh, then you can always contact me and we'll join you to our Telegram groups. Assalamu alaikum.